Hello everybody, it is Dylan Deer here, and today I'm going to continue my Star Wars Battlefront 2 Hero Guide series with the infamous character from the sequel trilogy that everyone refers to as a Mary Sue, Rey. Now, although Rey's character sucks in the movies, her character in Battlefront 2 is actually one of the best heroes in the game. So much so that she's probably the only hero that I could say on the light side that could take on Darth Vader one-on-one -on -one every single time and win. For the most part that just just hear me out on that so let me go over a quick overview of ray ray costs about 4,500 battle points in any of the sequel trilogy maps and she basically is a 6,000 battle point hero otherwise on galactic assault she has a base health of 750 and uses anakin's not ray's anakin's lightsaber she has three abilities like any of the other heroes dash strike mind trick and insight and she is also one of three current lightsaber heroes for the light side so basically ray is a, just overall a very well-rounded hero she's very aggressive um up in the front lines of a battle on galactic assault she's very good on offense her dash strike can get multiple kills on enemy troops um her mind trick is very very good at confusing her stunning heroes and her insight um, is probably one of her best abilities for, let's say, Galactic Assault. Um, it basically just hides her on the minimap so heroes can't figure out where she is unless they directly see her and have visual contact. And then she can reveal all highlighted enemies. And I believe if you stand in the radius of Ray's ability and you're on the light side, you can see enemies. Um, I'm almost sure about that i uh correct me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty much sure um if you're in the radius of ray's inside ability you can see other ability you you can see other units on the battlefield there sorry i always screw up my commentary it's just something i do but whatever her other ability mind trick basically it just inverts the player's movement controls so instead of, let's say we're using an Xbox controller, and if I get hit by the mind trick, instead of whenever I move to the left with the joystick, I'll move to the right and vice versa. So when I go forward, I'll go backwards. If I go backwards, I go forwards. Basically, it, it's just, it confuses the living crap out of you. And the only thing that you can really, really do if you're a hero is just keep jumping up and down and pray to God that um ray keeps on missing you if you're an enemy hero but if you're a trooper and this happens you're you're screwed you you're definitely you're just done just accept your fate die and then respawn but a really really cool thing that happens to the battle droids um is that their head will rotate uncontrollably it's really 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 funny um but yeah it's just it's pretty cool her mind trick ability is definitely one is her most useful offensive ability and then dash strike is literally a hit or miss basically she takes her lightsaber and she charges straight forward at enemies and she will deal damage to any enemy who stands in her way of the dash strike pretty much this is a almost useless ability unless you get a direct shot onto an enemy and it also knocks enemies off their feet stun it pretty much stuns them for a brief second knocking them off their feet they fall to the ground um, basically, the, this is an easy ability that anyone can avoid, is as long as you just move out of her way, then she's not going to hit you. You just, you see her coming straight at you, dodge to the left or right, and you're fine. Don't go forwards or backwards, just move to your left or your right, and you'll be fine. You can even walk to your left and probably avoid this ability. So that's why I suggest using the dash strike as a flanking ability. Get behind the enemy with insight. Activate dash strike and then go in with your lightsaber to get tons and tons of kills This strategy I've used quite a few times um, in Galactic Assault and ended up with 15 to 20 um, uh, Elimination kill streaks um, Just talking kills alone not on um, assists. I don't factor those in um, But yeah overall Ray is a very just a very very good hero and a threat on the battlefield in both Galactic Assault and Heroes vs. Villains my best strategy for heroes versus villains for her um, is just to stay close to Luke or another lightsaber hero because two lightsaber heroes can pick off an enemy team 
very, very well. Even if it's Yoda and Rey, just it doesn't matter. They will pick you off one by one as long as you work together. Rey alone is a good fighter, but if she's around people, she's even better just because of her ability setup. So, anyways, guys, that's all I'm going to talk about Rey for today. I'm going to get to work on some of the other heroes in Battle for 2. And if you did like this video, drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Dylan here, signing out. Bye-bye!